Oh boy. Of this fucker! Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? Oh shit! I hate this fuck. Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have fallen out of practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with oh, all God. that? Oh God! He's looking at me. <laughs> Like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. But he didn't know your father is the Warden of the North. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? Nothing. I cracked my dick. Shh. Listen. There. What? Hear no. that? I know I heard something. Stay still. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. Oh. He pulled up his pants. Lord Ethan, as I was saying, you are young, and there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise and courageous in battle. I want to be like I him. Want to be like that, like my father. Your father was well regarded by nearly everyone. It took years, if not decades, to earn. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move! Son Whoa. of a lord! We need his judgment. Great. Who the fuck I've is done this? Nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. <laughs> Lord, 
Lord Ethan. Mason. Did you my judgment? You spoke of judgment, Sir Royland. What judgment is that? This craven is a deserter and a thief. Ramsay Snow is coming. You think these men are enough to protect us from him? This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet. Whoa! People. Hey! Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. You stole from us? You stole from us? I feared for my life. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks His truth. Wife. I have a family to feed. They're not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> hey, dude! Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Calm yourself. Calm yourself. The time for calm passed with the late Lord Forrester. Now there's only chaos. Hey! Man, I will fucking kill you! Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. I will decide. Send him to the war. Take his fingers. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. You if stole you justice, my lord. You stole from us. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. Take three fingers. I, Ethan of House Forrester, Lord of Ironrath, name you a thief. A thief kill him. The price for your crime is three of your fingers. Help, please, my lord! Don't steal lord, from us. Please, no! <laughs> my lord, normally it is the lord's duty to carry out the sentence. But I am willing to carry it out. If you do not feel good. You must do it. You make I'm lazy. Sentence, my family. This is injustice, my lord! Injustice! You steal from us again. It's gonna be your fucking head! Anyone else? That's what I thought. That was certainly unpleasant. But Fuck a lord off. must meet our punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. You can weigh on any lord. It was my duty. It's a lord's duty. So I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone... You can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. Who would you choose? Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. I understand. I understand. I'll do it now. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. All right. I honestly don't know who to choose. It's Game of Thrones, so... We'll see what happens. Hi, I'm your uncle. Damn it. Obviously, you know, like... this was real life, I would choose my uncle, but... It's just a game! 
I don't want food. Talk to. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Oh shit, not yet. No, I'm not ready just yet. Let me know when you are, my lord. Alright, thank you. To find these guys. Do it like you mean it! Hey! <laughs> Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. <sighs> As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. But sure. I haven't decided yet. Well, you must soon, my lord. This is not a matter to be taken lightly. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Wait, what? Oops, wrong one. Look at. I don't want to look at you. God, you're hot. Fuck! Let me back! Alright. God damn it, I didn't even get anything. Now, when I say parry, get that. <sighs> Ethan. Will you marry me? Or should I say Lord Ethan? Oh wait, wrong guy. Hello, Uncle Malcolm. Oh, that's my I saw what you And who did. the fuck? It's not an easy thing to do. Okay. Getting out a harsh punishment, no matter how warranted. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. <sighs> At first pack? light. Uncle, why are you packing? You're not going somewhere, are you? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him. To help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course. Until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. <laughs> that was the other guy. You know that just oh. as well. I'll be gentle. To my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Aye. Sir Royland is the man you want. You're right. Okay. Sir Royland seems the man for the job. We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Thank you, Uncle. All right, Uncle. Ethan, Thank I need you. to talk to you. What the fuck do you want? Oh, great. I cut off three fingers. Uh, shun me. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Oh, Did shit. she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully, Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now, I'm more concerned about you. What? Why? I saw what you did to that man. <sighs> the way you punished him. He deserved it. How could you be so cruel? He stole from me! I'm worried about you. What am I supposed to think? I stand by my decision. I had to, and I stand by it. You talk like it was the only thing to be done. It was! I know you said you'd get angry sometimes, but I didn't think I'd see it so soon. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. I wish father were here. I wish father were here. We all do, but father is gone. You are the lord of this house, which is why you must be strong. And Don't just pitch at me! As Asher or Roderick ever were. I know it. Thanks, but fuck! I only wish you did too. 
You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Ryland, where are you, grouchy bastard? Sword up! Swing left! Sorry! Wrong! I didn't know so dogs could hold swords! A word? Of course, my lord. Going by what my uncle I said. Your advice. I need a set. I need to name a sentinel. sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority, and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Duncan is Duncan a good man. Duncan Tuttle is a good man. Aye, a fine man. Why is he? But he has no business being sentinel. He likes to talk. But now's the time for action. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. Uh, guy's a cocky prick. But I'll choose him anyway. Just because my uncle said so. And I know that girl would have chosen Duncan because, you know, they're all nice and sweet and whatever. But this is Game of Thrones! God damn it! I'm ready. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? What is your perspective? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. Raid! It may be black, but Rene I'm raid. Old. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Thank you. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life or the lives of those you love. How much do we have? How much do we have to give, Maester? From here to Wolfswood Creek and then across the next two ridges, it should be enough to satisfy Ramsay Snow, I imagine. Bloodlust can often be sated by gifts and gold. Penny raid. Penny raid. Whoa, I don't have any pennies here, man. <sighs> I'm ready. Fucking that means let's now. go. Tower? My lord, I wasn't listening. Are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yes, I yes, am. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Uh. <sighs> Food trash, you have my pennies. Shh. Jeez, man. What? All right, here we go. Sorry, Duncan. I like you. Well, this is Game of Thrones, man. Come on, we have to kill people. Okay. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. You both are worthy. Royland. This house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Shut up. Let me get to the point. Any thought either of you would make a fine sentinel. But I have made my decision. Roland. I'm sorry, Duncan. You look so sad. Sir Royland de Gore, you will be my sentinel. Gods be praised. You've done well, Lord Ethan. You won't regret this. A poor choice, my lord. <sighs> Forgive me for saying so, but it's true. 
Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to waste. He'll arrive before any of our allies could be here. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. He doesn't scare me. Ramsey Snow. He doesn't scare me. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsey must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Quiet, Tuttle. You're not the Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the small council. Let Duncan it's speak! Let Duncan speak. I'd like to hear what he has to say. Duncan? I'm sorry, Lord Ethan. You have chosen your sentinel. You should hear from him first. Stop talking, you fucking- Bolton's sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall. And make the bastard fill his boots with piss. He would see it for the empty gesture that it is. And have us flayed. We must take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power must to Must be unified. Us. We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. Ugh. Why not make oh, me! Peace, my lord. Yeah. The wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! <sighs> we will bargain. Maester Ortengrin has swayed me. We will offer the Boltons a share of the ironwood, and we will promise our people to harvest it, thus securing their safety. A sentinel, I must warn you. Do this, and you invite ruin upon this house. If we don't, there may be no house forester at all. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. We could offer him the ironwood in the courtyard. My lord, making this kind of offer outright may simply embolden Ramsay. There could be trouble, and all the house will be there to see it. Meet him in the hall. It will be more private, and he will not have an audience to play against you. Lord Ethan? I will make Ramsay wait at the gate. I will meet him at the gate. Very good, my lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. That's enough from you, Trouble. Lord Ethan has spoken. Obey his command. I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. Forgive me, my lord. But you are far too young to be the lord of this house. Get volunteers! Just subscribe to so much. What? Get out! Out. Head farts, there you go. Your father would not approve, my lord. Fuck, that was to Duncan Duncan, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Look what you guys made me do! I wasn't Apologies, listening. my son. I had expected better of him. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the <sighs> gate. And we will offer the Ironwood, providing a safe future for this house. No matter what, I will stand beside you, my lord, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Okay. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. I hear what you're saying. Yes, I hear what you're saying. 
Do you remember the Miller's boy? Yeah, it's okay. How he tormented you. I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. <laughs> wow. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. Asher is dangerous. Asher is dangerous and unpredictable. His presence could help or hurt. Having another sword at your side always helps, especially now. Run, get out. Oh, there we go. I'm trying to do what's best for this family, what this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. <sighs> Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. 